How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and this week we're getting cracking straight back into the Scirocco. If you haven't seen it already, we picked up this 1986 Mark II Volkswagen Scirocco from Burnham's Auto Salvage. They managed to damage the roof by lifting it off a container with a crane and in this video we've decided that it's time to dig into the Scirocco, find out everything that's wrong with it. Um, obviously we know the engine runs, we've done that in the last video, we've made the decision to pull the engine and get a bit of a refresh, we're not going to convert it, we're not going to do a 120 valve swap or a VR6 or anything like that, we just haven't got the budget for it, so it's going to stay with the 1.6, but we're going to tear it all down, we've got Josh here helping today, um, we're going to do as much as we can and just get a list on every single repair that needs done. So far, we've managed to tear the front apart, and found that the majority of the kit has been tiger sealed on before. The good news is the front cross member is still there. Radiator came out no problem. The front wings look okay. We've had a go at stripping the interior. We've already found one little hole just down there. And then under the carpet, we've got a couple of holes. It's the exact same on the other side. So there's a wee bit of welding there. After finding that, we decided that it's probably best just to strip the entire car because we also know that it's going to need a bit of a respray. Um, so we may as well just strip it, gut it, and see, make a list of every single bit that needs fixed, eh? And just start with a blank slate. So let's get cracking on. We'll throw this on time lapse quickly. We'll try and get some of this kit off because it's all time we're still done. I don't know how we're going to get it off. We did already take one of the back wings off and we've damaged the quarter panel a little bit, but we'll show you that in a bit. We need to try and find a way of getting this off without damaging it anymore, so let's get that done first. report so far we've got this side strip drive shafts out and we've got all the kit off this side front wing is absolutely perfect other than a wee tiny scab there we can fix that on the other side the front wing is perfect there's not a mark on it anywhere so that's great and on another good note the sills inner and outer are both brilliant I was absolutely dreading taking the kit off to find just massive holes and rot and all sorts of stuff. The back wheel arch is the only problem area we found, so we've got corrosion all the way around the back lip. Somebody's actually tried to weld it back together at some point there. So yeah, this here has been stitch weld back together, so I think it's rotted away so much that uh, the two seams split. So. We've got a couple of choices here. This is obviously isn't going to be a survivor car anymore. It's no perfect. The roof's obviously been damaged. We're going to have to repair that. This corner panel is going to need repair. And I'm pretty sure the other side's going to be exactly the same. So I don't know about you, Josh, but repair panels are the easiest to get for these. And if we're going to do a sort of resto mod, and put some nice 15 inch wheels on it and make it a wee bit lower and stuff I say we just cut the rot out mm -hmm. uh, just weld the two skins together just plate it and then that will get us a bit more I suppose as well see if you cut the arches yeah and weld the two together you've got a higher That's tolerance it. to run it lower as such exactly so we can put a nice wide fitment wheel on it 
and we can run it a wee bit lower and get a real nice ride height and it'll still be sealed up or the rot will be cut out. It's no, like, it's never going to be a 10 grand Scirocco thanks to the roof being damaged and everything. It's no really a collector car so I think we're at a stage now where we just make a really cool resto mod, mod Scirocco. And I think that will be the cheapest and easiest option as well. Yeah, 100%. So yeah, I think that's the plan. We'll just basically trim around here, plate in some new metal, make sure the two skins are welded back together, and slab it, run some real nice wheel fitment on it. At the front end, we've obviously took the front valance off as well. Well, the, the, part, the kit party anyway, to reveal the original front valance. And surprisingly, this is all solid as well. It's all still in place, it's, there's a bit of surface rust on it, but it's going to clean up just fine. And here, it's a wee bit crusty where the radiator was, but again, it's all solid, it's all going to clean up. So yeah, I think, I think we've won a watch for this, Josh. Just I was expecting loads more rot. It's going to be a lot of hard work, I suppose, but in the end, it'll probably be worth it. Mm. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So far, the worst bit's in here. We'll get that other bit of carpet out and then we'll check that. But I think we'll concentrate now on pulling this side off and pulling the engine out. Yeah. Right, we're almost at the stage. We're about to pull the engine out. I've already been underneath. I've disconnected the exhaust, all the engine mounts. Gear linkages are off. We've literally just got some cooling pipes to take off. Clutch cable, throttle cable. Most of the wires already labelled. That's a great tip whenever you're taking an engine out. If you know it's going to be out for a wee while, just label your wire, alternator, battery. Just a bit of duct tape, throw it on there so you don't forget. Take pictures as well, as many pictures as you can, just to uh, help you when you're rebuilding it. But yeah. Especially Josh? with uh, Stevie being of the older generation, he tends to forget a lot. so. Uh -huh. it's, it's better to label things, definitely. Okay. How how clean are we going to go with this bay? Clean. Because if the engine's coming out anyway, we might as well just do it all. It makes sense. Oh, we have cooling. So there was a wee bit of cooling in it. Now it's on the floor. And then the gearbox. <laughs> and then the gearbox, yeah. It's not even like cool, it's not like, it's like... It's like mud. Am I hitting it? Yeah, I think so. Close. I tell you what, it's so much easier working on older cars. It's so much simpler. There's less stuff, less rubbish in the way. More rust. Everything just comes off. Aye, they're dirty. But it won't be when we're finished. The good thing with these as well is there's not very many electronics like oh, no. in the new stuff. That's what I'm saying, it's all just simple. Like, if you're, if you're a DIYer and you're into cars, you're better, way better off going with something like this, some 80s, 90s, because it's just so much easier to work on. Like, pretty much everything on this is DIY. We'll be putting the engine on our lovely engine, what would you call that? An engine holder? Yeah, the engine stand. Engine stand, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. It might look like we're being a bit hash bash, but everything on this is going to be replaced, so we're not too fussed about it. I wouldn't say everything. Well, all the major kind of well, stuff. Things are easy. Right, Josh, engine out time. Yeah. So we've got this rigged up. Hopefully, these will be strong enough. It's just a wee light engine, and it's gone straight on the engine stand anyway, so. Everything's off underneath, everything's off up top. We've literally got one mount that side, 
one mount this side and hopefully we'll have this out in a matter of minutes. We'll throw these on, throw these on a quick time lapse and we'll see how long it actually takes. Right guys, it's the next day, we're back in the garage and as you've seen in that last time lapse, we got a ton of work done. So we got the engine out, it's now on the engine stand, ready to be rebuilt. We've drained all the fluids and the gearbox is out. I scraped a bit of rust off of the end plate and it started leaking fluid, so we've got it sitting upside down. The Scirocco's pretty much completely tore down. Um, it's not too bad, we've still got the front carpets to take out, which I'll probably do today. But looking from underneath, there doesn't seem to be any major rust issues. In the engine bay, it's a little bit crusty looking, but a lot of it's just surface rust, and this will all get cleaned up and come off, no problem at all. Uh, subframe and everything, it's not actually got a subframe, it's just part of the chassis of the car. It all looks great, intact. Again, a wee bit of surface rust, but nothing that we can't sort. Cross members all good. Everything looks great. So nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. But of course, it's sitting on jacks now, and obviously I need my jacks to do other work. So I'm gonna use an idea that I've seen on the Jimmy Oaks channel. So spinning Jimmy Oaks, when they strip a car down, they get a, a beam, put it across the front, tack weld it on, or bolt it on, and they put casters on it. So yesterday I sent Josh to the screw fix to get some casters, and I said to him, probably 150 kilogram casters will be enough, 150 kilogram or more weight rating on the casters. And uh, he came back with these. <laughs> so I think these are rated to about 70 kilograms. So that'll give us a, an overall 140. I've felt the front of the car, I can lift it, so they might work, they might not. But hopefully the idea behind this is we weld these onto the bar, pack weld them onto the bottom of the subframe rails, and then we should be able to roll the car about like it's on a wee skate and keep it mobile. So let's weld these up and see if they're going to hold the weight of the Scirocco. Right guys, the moment of truth. Let's see if Josh's 10 pound casters will hold a Scirocco or not. Hopefully, because then we can get this place cleaned up, ready for the next job. But yeah, I'm gonna get Katie to grab the other side um, and let these jacks do it at the same time so I don't put all the pressure on one. So Katie, stop filming it now and grab a jack handle. So far, so good. We've no off yet. Let's see. Oh, and she moves. Yes, that's mega. Josh's 10 pound casters are holding up for now. Right, guys, massive fail. It's literally been minutes, and I just went to push it out the door, and the casters have failed. The bearings are coming out, the wheels are squashing, nothing's working. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the Scirocco's nearly back on the floor. So, back in with the jacks, I'm afraid, and we'll need to sit it on wheels, but oh well. Some more casters, and we'll be good.
Right guys, attempt number two. As you can see, we've got some much heavier duty cast casters. These ones are rated at 160 kilograms each. They are pretty much the only ones I could get my hands on today. Um, and we've also found an extra bit of stronger bar, so I've welded that on and that is super strong now. So, might even leave that on there when we finish the car, because that will tie the two front chassis legs together and make it super strong. But yeah, this should roll now, hopefully. First I need to get my cell out of here. Right, moment of truth. Hopefully, this should be a lot sturdier. Fingers crossed. Touchdown. Jesus. It's rolling itself away. Right. I'm not going to celebrate too quickly because I've done that the last time. But. So far, so good. No, no. Right guys, hopefully attempt number three is better. It ended up collapsing again and we found the reason why. The casters have got, it's like real cheap galvanised or stainless or whatever it is, but it's real cheap and the weld just won't take to it. So what we've done now is bolted them on. We've got a couple of bits of metal over the top of the bar. It ain't perfect. No, it's not perfect. This is rubbish. Right guys, attempt number three wasn't a complete success, but we can move it about. It's supported, it's fine now. But what I think I need to do is get some flat plate and weld it onto the bottom of that so that I can bolt the casters on. Um, hopefully I've no damaged these ones too much, but they were cheap anyway, they're like £7.50 each, so... We can move it for now, which means we can get tidied up, which means we can wheel it outside and get the bay washed as well, so... Again, that's all going to come in another video. That's it for this video, we've managed to get it torn down. It's not as bad as it could have been, it's not as good as it could have been, but it's definitely, definitely salvageable, and it's going to be a really cool car, so... Make sure you stay tuned to the channel um, to watch all the progress on this. Like I said, we're going to try and concentrate on this and the giveaway car and run the two projects side by side and uh, yeah, try and have Mary a sort of a focus on where the channel's going and a focus on the projects without sort of being here, there and everywhere. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.